all started basic basically for for anyone who watches this from the beginning somebody called me a nazi and among one of the prime reasons um that they started out with was because i'm a lumpen proletariat now there's a lot of people who watch my videos who are not educated at all in marxism and there's a lot of people who watch my video no this i don't know how many people watch there's there may there's maybe some people who are educated uh in marxism who watch this so um if you do then you know sorry i have to explain for the people who don't so lumpen proletariat and marxist uh understanding we understand that um the proletariat is the people who have to work for the bourgeoisie who own the means of production who own the businesses the factories the restaurants the places we work at and the proletariat has no capital you know so they have the only capital they have is their labor you know so they have to sell themselves uh in order to make a living okay so um the lumpen proletariat like lumped in lumpen you know is meant to describe hello sharon it's meant to describe um, all the people who do not work for a wage, but are lumped in, uh, basically, who are like poor people. Some of them may be homeless beggars, maybe, maybe you know, a anyone who's poor, who doesn't own capital, who exists in the society, you know, who, who doesn't work for a wage. You know, they, they, they may, uh, you know, I think technically it, it, it could, I don't know if some people will consider small craftsmen, you know, small artists part of the lumpen proletariat, but I, I think, I think it is, but all the people who are pressed along and, and it also ex includes a lot of other marginalized groups, you know, other people who, who, who live in different ways, you know, so basically, um, <clears throat> how this all started, it actually started about maybe two months ago um i was going through uh you know emotional uh episode of a mental health crisis and uh i was saying negative things about women you know now um it's emotional reactionism and misogyny that i, I showed i i'm not proud of and i think is wrong and I, I, I don't ever want to make that uh, mistake again uh, by changing, you know, my thoughts, my intrusive thoughts that come up and trying to be more constructive. You know, I, I admit I'm not perfect. Um, I'm a homeless guy, very lonely, and uh, I don't have many relationships in my life. And, you know... I'm I'm very sorry for for the things that you know for for be, having a bias against women and having misogynistic views and um I don't uh you know sometimes people say it's disingenuous to say you don't have these views when you've already expressed them this was a few months ago and, and I I really don't feel that way usually consciously but obviously I had this subconsciously intrusive thought that kept coming so and one, one, one of the I have a lot of communists and Marxists on my Facebook, and obviously they're gonna call me out for this and be like, "Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you?" You know, as they should. And and the, and the people who are at least somewhat compassionate about it, rude about it. You know, he he said it, in a, and and I told him he was right, and and I and I thanked him, and, and he still wasn't you know what i'm saying like friendly towards me but then later he made a few, like a week or two later or something he made a status about he was reading some i think it was Kant or lacan or su 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 some it, it may not have been those people and maybe that's part of his reason but he didn't say anything about that you know what i'm saying but some kind of philosopher like this right and he was reading it and i said i was interested in it you know i'm always trying to educate myself and he he suggested a, a certain work by them and, and then t told me he, he could answer any questions, you know, so I could talk to him about it. And I, I actually didn't read it, you know. So I'm sorry about that. And then so that's that was like two months ago, right? So then tonight, 
you know, I he makes his. I see. I, I'm seeing his posts, and and he he made a very. He he reshared a, a memory of a post that was like from two years ago, maybe three years ago now, where he's talking about he his roommate, you know, you know, was dead, you know what I'm saying? And it was crazy how that happened. He, he wasn't really close to this person. It was just a random person, he said, but it, 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 it impacted him in some way. And, you know, I was reading the comments on it. And, and and I just I just felt some kind of empathy or something because you know I I I I I didn't have and other people I've known but that that was the closest person to me that had passed from that so I commented on his post and I was I think I might have said God bless you because I say that almost every time I comment or something I said God bless you you know uh, you were right. Um, and uh, I, 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 I didn't read, I, I didn't read what you were talking about, or, or I said, uh, you know, but, but I'm trying to educate myself every day, you know, and then uh, he, he said, uh, what are you talking about? And I was like, oh, uh, Oh, you you don't remember? I don't have a lot of social interactions lately, so I just remember a lot, I guess. Uh, you know, it was Connor, the Connor, something you said you were reading, and then uh, I, I somewhere in there I was saying how I was educating myself, self, and I uh, I was uh, watching this YouTube channel, Politsturm, right? And he says, "Oh, th that th that that sounds like it's Nazi based. Just out of out of nowhere, maybe because what I felt was obvious. What I felt was obvious was that the word Politsturm sounds German to him or something, right? Because he he immediately said that after I mentioned Politsturm, he says it sounds Nazi based or something." And, and it's literally like a socialist Marxist Leninist YouTube channel that I'm pretty sure he would support. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's like a, a very good channel, you know? And um So so I got triggered, I'm like, oh what what? Just cause it, it has a word that's not English? You know, you you're gonna call it a, a a Nazi? Is isn't that pretty Nazi of you to think anything that's not English is, is, is evil or bad? This word that's associated with evil or bad is labeling it Nazi. You know, uh, and so you know, I, I was triggered. You know, and and I did overreact, and I and I am embarrassed about that. You know, I'm not emotionally mentally stable, <laughs> and. Uh, I made a post about him calling him a Nazi because I felt like he basically called me a Nazi. And then I was like, oh, you know, I, I, I went even further with it. OK. And then. And then he, he starts calling me a worthless piece of piece of shit and telling me, you know, calling me all these names. And I'm like, oh. And he was already doing that before I made the post. Uh, so uh, I, I I went on his profile, and, and I'm not proud of this part either. But I'm trying to, you know, get past it and just admit to it. You know, it's, you know, I'm just being honest. He had his phone number on there. Obviously, he wanted someone to call. I called like two times, and then he stopped answering. I called him a sick fuck. And so then I left two long voicemails, okay? I, I, I called once and I, I left the, I, I talked until it told me that there's, you know, that that's as much as you can record for the voicemail. And then I called him again and reiterated my points. And what I'm telling him in it, you know, at this point, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be a bad person. I, I'm trying to be constructive and a good person. So I tell him like, yo, you, 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 you hate homeless people. You know what I'm saying? A homeless person, 
you know, you know, it's incorrect about something or, you know, expresses something wrong one time or something. And, and, and you want to come on here and start calling him a Nazi because the way I'm seeing it now, he's still mad because I said something misogynistic in the past that I admitted was wrong. And I've tried to move past from, but he's still holding that against me. That's what I'm beginning to think. So that's how I'm coming at him. I'm like, yo, let me tell you this. The, there's a lot of, you know, it took me a lot as a homeless person in my background to come to Marxism, Marxism, Leninism, and all of you fucking college kids with your fucking house. You live in a house. I don't care if you have a house. You're privileged. You live in a house and, and, and you... You uh, want to say, oh, you care about homeless people, but, you know, anytime a real homeless person speaks, you want to bully homeless people online because they don't have a perfect, correct view instead of compassionately educating them. And maybe why I was so triggered because I felt like he was compassionate before and, and, you know, helped me see clearer before, you know, so. And, you know, you, you know, I was telling him, like, you know, the way you're acting, you know, a lot of homeless people have reactionary backwards views, you know, and the thing is that, you know, when you just bully them or think you're bad, better than them because they're wrong about something one time instead of being compassionate you know you're not doing shit for the communist movement in fact that's actively harming the communist movement because all these fucking communists are our fucking pricks who don't give a fucking damn about the homeless people they inherit this bourgeois attitude all these homeless people are just lazy fucking bums you know, with their backwards views, a, a homeless a homeless guy says uh, expresses a reactionary view. They're not understanding that re reactionary view. You know what I'm saying is is resulting from a them being in the in the position they're in. You know what I'm saying, and, and in the society they're in. You know, and somebody not having the compassion, you know, to, to educate them and, and re educate them if need be. You know, to not give up on them, to realize they're a human being. You know, if you, you can express a reactionary or backwards view, you know, <clears throat> and, and not be damned as a person. You know, you, you, you can be taught and you can be educated, you know, and, th and that's, that's what I've always believed us communists fought for. Okay, and that, that's 100% exactly what I've always understood us communists us marxist leninists fought for is educating we you got even the homeless people especially the homeless people they 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 got you know a lot a lot of homeless people believe in conspiracies and dogmatic views and you know all this other stuff you know what i'm saying and it's about us educating the people that are realizing not seeing them for their views that they currently have but seeing them for the people they are suffering you know, the, the suffering, the struggle that they're in, you know, as I, you know, I see so many communists post about homeless people, but yet they, they've done their best to bully me. You know, when I, as a homeless person, enthusiastically took up the banner of Marxism, Leninism and tried my best to be a good Marxist and do what is right, you know, boom, I, I, I get something wrong. I'm bullied, you know, which, which caused me to react even more reactionally. Oh, you're going to come up here and be like that. Okay, well, I'm going to be like this. And you know what I'm saying? It's just from the class position I'm in, I understand how homeless people feel. Okay, I've, I've, I've spent a lot of years of my life living amongst homeless people as a fellow homeless person living outside in this shit. All right? And so, <clears throat> okay, so all, all that happens, right? then boom boom guess so so what happens next i i i'm calling him a nazi and so i say to him and i think this is this is a pretty valid you know gotcha you know what i'm saying he, uh, and i was laughing while i was uh, not at this point but at, at some point this because it was literally driving me crazy because he, he he calls basically 
No, he, he literally said Pilate Sturm sounded Nazi. And the only, you know, understanding you can derive from that is that he's assuming that it's German sounding and he's associated Germans with Nazism. Okay, so then I say to him, let me, in this comment on Facebook, let me guess anything from the GDR is Nazi to you. You know what I'm saying? So for anyone who doesn't know the GDR nation, you know, that, that, that existed for many decades, right? Who, who fought against Nazism, you know, and, and, and those ideas, right? Not only those ideas, but those practices, you know, it was about the workers. The Nazis were against the workers and, and, and against uh, uh, other races they deemed inferior. The GDR socialists were about all, all, all inclusivity and peace and, you know what I'm saying, pe people uh, creating a better society, you know. And by, by owning the productive forces, you know, in the GDR, you know, you know, I've seen things like almost at, there was almost absolutely no homelessness. You know what I'm saying? Practically virtually no homelessness. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So when, whenever he's just, you know, replying that Pilot Sturm sounds Nazi. OK, number one, I, 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 I you know, it. it the base, the base, the, 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 the base or f surface level is that he's associating Germans with Nazis. You know, then the, the deeper level, I feel like it's a personal attack because, you know, I expressed the misogynistic views in the past, which I admitted was wrong and apologized for. But still, he has some grudge. So he, he wants to try to ignorantly throw in there somehow that relate anything that I'm talking about to Nazism or something. Right. So that, that that's how I'm seeing this. So, the, so that's why, so that's what I say. Right. Let me guess anything from the GDR is Nazi to you because it's German. Right. And, and this, this, this is his reply. And this, Oh my God, this, this really got me. I was like, Oh, like, like after, after this, and then another reply, I had to block him. I just couldn't take it anymore. I could not take it. This guy said, uh, no, you dipshit. <laughs> the GDR is explicitly anti-Nazi, correct? So, 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 so why was he saying that Pilot's term sounded, sounded Nazi? Okay. Why was he say, saying Pilot's term sounded Nazi? That the only infer inference you could get from that is because it, he thinks it sounds German. Which I don't even think it's it's German. I think it might be Russian because I know one of the guys on the channel is Russian. So, you know, it, it, it's like an ignorant American belief, like oh that 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 Eastern European sounding word. Oh that that must be some Nazi. That must must be a Nazi thing, right? You know. <laughs> so 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 let me cons You know, I'm just gonna start his comment all over and read it all the way through, and then I'll pick it apart. So he says, oh, no, you dipshit. The GDR is anti-Nazi. You're a Nazi because you're, one, you're a lumpen proletariat. Two, you have no clear political ideology. You make, three, you make yourself most important thing in the world. Four, you try to make others. So First of all, I'm going to go through each part of that comment. You know, but... Even if, which it, which it's not, none of none of which. I mean, I am a lump. I, I am could be considered a lump in pearless hair, but I'm gonna make a lot of videos now on how we need to remove that word. Okay, we're not lump in proletariat. We're fucking people, dog. Okay, we're not lumped in with shit. We're just people as we are. So we don't have to call, label people lump proletariat and, and and see them as Nazis. But he's but he literally. And for anyone who doesn't believe me, look, look, I'll literally show you the screenshot. Look at this. I'm not, I swear to God, I'm not making this up. He literally said, uh, no, you dipshit. The GDR is explicitly answered. You're Nazi because the first reason that I'm a lumpen proletariat. Because I'm an oppressed person who doesn't work for a, a wage. Who doesn't sell my labor. Who doesn't have a job. That makes me a Nazi. <clears throat> so I, I, 
I, I took screenshots of this and I put it on my Facebook and, and gave some further thoughts if you want to go look. Um, and I, I commented on that post and I said, my my only, you know, guess is that he, he watched some documentary or, you know, perhaps more likely even, even read some book that explained to him <clears throat> that... Um, the lumpen proletariat in Germany uh, sided with the Nazis and you know in some way that they statistically did more or, or, or something like that that, that you know th that's my guess I'm gonna give you my reasoning for that guess this and this could be completely wrong but it, it's just the trip that mental trip it took me down really got to me when I when, when I really thought about it this way um <clears throat> and that so he's he's just taking that at face face value and maybe it did explain why or or maybe it gave some reasoning behind why this uh people why this class of people people who are poor who don't have jobs why they would would support nazis in germany more you know and 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 maybe maybe it gave, gave some good reasons that convinced him that people like me who don't have a job and are homeless are, are likely to be Nazis or something. You know, uh, supposedly it's, it's said that uh, Marx and other people, you know, I, I have to re-educate myself and read Marx again. It's, it's been a while uh, since I've re-educated re myself on basic theory. But that he didn't see much revolutionary potential in the lumpen proletariat. And, you know, Mark, we 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 Marxists understand Marx was not a, a prophet or anything like that. We don't just accept what he says at face value. We critically examine his views and see see that they are correct. You know, a lot of the time, but he's not always correct. You know, and there may be historical examples of people in in the class position of being homeless who 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 have held very backwards, ignorant views, and I, I believe a lot of that came. From the lack of education among this class um now i want to argue for the fact that most homeless people in the united states have a phone and a lot of homeless people in a lot of countries have phones you know and they can learn for themselves from the internet i learned okay i i didn't continue to believe back backwards views i educated myself i'm proof of that and i'm proud of that and and, and that, that that's why I'm, I'm i'm so focused on this issue you know, I've been homeless most of my, and I want to educate others. Um, and and I think that the lumpen proletariat can have revolutionary uh, potential, and that we don't even need to use the word lumpen proletariat anymore. You know, we can we can describe these people in, in a better way instead of just lumping them in and saying they don't have any ex. Uh, an value class by themselves or even the recognition of needing you know a uh, 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 description just lumping them in there with the proletariat you know what I'm saying so the second thing he says is that oh yeah so 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 that let, before I go into to the rest of his comment and I want to say that this was exactly but I feel homeless a lot of homeless people do have reactionary views and do backwards views okay because and, and, and I think that people like him you know these university educated fucking privileged motherfuckers who went to college you know uh, they, they don't give a fuck about us homeless because we're not correct you know what I'm saying they, they care more about political correctness than, than, than they do about a person's position you know, but saying being a Marxist is about wanting to help the oppressed, not judge them and tell them they're they're pieces of shit because they don't have the right views. No, it's about caring so deeply and passionately and loving these people so much that you want to educate them and help them gain some sort of agency over their life and the broader society that they're in. OK, that's that's what being a Marxist Leninist is about. OK. And he says, I have no clear political ideology. Um, <clears throat> so 
when I went through all that trouble to try to explain to him, you know that 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 we don't we don't need communists to to tell us that we're not politically correct and judge us, and 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 then bully us or talk us down as homeless people. Okay, you can compassionately and continue to compassionately explain that somebody is wrong and care about them as a sufferer in person. And I, 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 I believe this person, and, and there's a lot of other college-educated socialists who truly do believe that us homeless people are lazy fucking bumps, okay? And, and, and that's, it's very sad, okay? Because a true Marxist and a true Marxist-Leninist sees the potential in every single individual and realizes that these people are not lazy bumps, that if these people had more stability in a living situation and they weren't always focused on survival, whenever you're homeless, a lot of people don't understand. You know, it's a, and, and, and trust, no, I've, I've been there too. I've, I've, I've buckled down and made the commitment to go to go get a job and, you know, what I'm saying do better, but, you know, it doesn't always work out like that, you know, and, 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 and what, are, what are you really sacrificing? There's a lot of people that end up homeless. They get a lot of time to think for themselves and they don't want to go back to working. They don't want to go to slavery. Okay. That's what happened to me. I, I don't want to go back to it. I, I, I seriously rather be homeless living outside for the rest of my life than to go work a job every day that completely alienates me from the products of my labor. Okay. That I'm just there just so I can submit to the system and be given enough wages to be able to afford, maybe afford a place to live or more likely just a room somewhere, which may be very hard for me to get because I'm a felon. So all that aside, and, and my felonies are for weed and mushrooms, not anything else. Um... So it is it's 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 heartbreaking. Honestly, it's it's heartbreaking that he's he's doing exactly what I'm accusing him of and he's not taking any 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 criticism from me as a homeless person suffering in this system. As a Marxist, he should care about about the voices of the oppressed. A lot a lot a lot of a lot of people uh, I pilot, pilot Sturm people today where they're saying us Marxist Leninists, you know, need that we need to listen to black people and indigenous people. And I agree because struggle and not, you know, what I'm saying not all indigenous people, not not the rich capitalists, but the black workers, you know, the indigenous workers, the 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 poor indigenous, you know, not 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 so, some some native guy who. There who wants to speak for everybody else, you know, or so or Jay Z trying to speak for everybody else, you know, the actual these people suffering. But my my only point is that us homeless people, regardless if if we're lighter skinned or not, are should be listened to too. Okay, if if you really claim really want to care. And listen to the struggle of the oppressed. Like I'm really sitting out here, my car covered in fucking snow, freezing. You know, and, and yeah, yeah, I, I I could go sell myself as a slave, and maybe after a few weeks, I might have enough to try to find a place. But there's no guarantee I'll find one, or that I'll even have enough for one. Okay, so to look at me and, and just believe that I'm lazy, that I could just pick up a job at any point and change my situation. That's not how I see it at all, and that's not the reality. Okay, it's you know I I I I believe that you know I'm I'm gonna continue writing and creating content and, and I would rather do that because I, that that's me actually having you know a true connection to the product of my labor, you know actually having a true connection to it and that's what we all need in life. You know, a lot of people are lonely and depressed. And so depressed because they, they they don't they hate their jobs. You know what I'm saying? They, they they don't see any, you know, this job is not something that they're working for that's directly helping their life at all. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just 
punching in a clock. We're not made to just work for somebody else. You know, as humans, we work to make our lives better, not not just to make somebody else rich. But l let me just continue with the comment because I, I feel like um, I just blabbering because I don't know what to say next and I'm trying to extend it. The number two reason, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch this whole video later. His number two reason I have no p clear political I ideology he says I am a Marxist Leninist. If any Marxist Leninist has any cr criticism of my views, then it is up for uh, then is your actually to try to correct me, especially as a homeless comrade. Okay. As a, as, you know, you know, I, it's hard for me to accept, you know, and, and I still would have compassion and forgive him. That's that. That's how I am. That's what I believe in for our movement, you know, but <sighs> to look at a homeless person and, and, and not see any value in, in, in what they say or, or, or whatever and just try to put them down, you know, I, I, I don't think it's it's Marxist at all, you know. But number three says you make yourself the most important thing in the world. <laughs> um, now th this statement ma makes me feel like he, you know, and part of me feels like no, he's never seen my YouTube. He doesn't know about me on TikTok or anything. You know, this this kind of gives me suspicion that he does because that seems like a view that people who who watch me on stream would say, you know. That I think I'm the most important thing on the world. On, fa on Facebook, I, I share about Palestine. I share educational things, you know, about socialism and so socialist propaganda. So I, it's hard for me to think in the world. Um, um, and, and, and I don't think, and maybe this, this wasn't anything implied by him at all, but it makes me feel like, uh, you know, that he just... Uh, he thinks because I don't have a job that I'm just a homeless guy that begs that I I, I think I'm the most important person in the world and, and, and I think that's a terrible view to have of a homeless beggar I I, 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 I don't care what what kind of thought told you what you know what I'm saying at the end of the day there's nothing ever wrong with a homeless person begging for food begging for stuff to eat begging for things he needs begging period until we all have a home in a society with more homes than homeless people until we all have guaranteed food every day in a society that throws food away every day okay don't don't fucking tell me that i need to fucking prove my worth by selling myself to somebody and you know perhaps uh, you know, at, it, 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 you know, you know, I can see why, you know, s some American workers benefit, you know, li li live a pretty all right life, you know, and, and, and good jobs and that they, they may feel disrespected by me viewing the workers that way. But, it, but it's just true when you're being, you know, exploited, <clears throat> Um, and someone's making a profit off your labor. It's just like a farm animal. Okay. You got, you got, what do you got? What do you got to do for, what do you got to do for a cow? What do you got to do for the chickens? What do you, what do you got to do for the chickens? You got to give them a pen. Okay. You got to give them a fucking place to live. They're, they're not going to stick around. And lay you fucking eggs if you don't give them a fucking roof. So you got you got to make sure the wages are enough to get a fucking roof, to get some fucking food. And you know what? There's a, a lot of farmers who 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 will put invest money in certain things that make the pen better. You know, make it more productive. You know, make make it more comfortable. Whatever. Uh, you know, the 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 capitalist. Uh, only sees you as you know an object that he's using, and the literally the less he gives you, the more he makes. 
So it's it's a highly engineered system of trying to you know c control people enough, manipulate them enough, for, you know, and it's gone on for so long, and it's getting worse. You know, the minimum wage stays the same. It's national minimum wage is seven twenty five. You know, inflation. You know, things are five times more expensive than they were ten years ago. Okay, the, you know, it's it's fucking nuts. And, you know, so basically your purchasing power is going away. All right. And and this this isn't by accident. This isn't oh the economy. <laughs> the the evil economy has struck again. <laughs> no, no, no. This this is directly these people who own the means of production, the places you work at, wanting more money for themselves and pulling a fucking fast one continuously on the working class. And so there's a lot more to it, but this is already longer than, than I was trying to make this. So let, let me continue. Um, he says, you try and make regardless of what you do. Now, this is because whenever a few months I said some misogynistic things and he corrected me, I admitted he was right and I apologized. All right. And, and I accepted him compassionately try, trying to correct me. So that directly goes against him saying that I want people to support and back me regardless of what I do. I want to be corrected. And any Marxist Leninist watches this know that I that I want to be corrected and I want to continually re-educate myself every day. You know, and, and if and if I've been stubborn and had reactionary backwards views in the past that's from my class position. And there's a lot of homeless people who hold on to these backwards positions I may have had, you know, very more fervently uh, than I have because they're not being educated. Because communists aren't think it's useless to try to explain to a homeless person uh, all of this, you know, this you just, just gave them a few bucks so they can fucking get a beer and keep walking, you know, that that's how they feel about us. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're people, we're human beings, and there is value in, ed in educating us and, and being compassionate towards us and believing in us as a class of people. So there, there's, there's one more comment he makes, and, and, and I, I, after reading it, it again, after... You know, I said I'm Marxist, Leninist, and we had we had a few more comments, and then he says this, which I screenshotted. He says, "You're a worthless dipshit who has no idea of Marxism, let alone Marxism-Leninism. <laughs> Nor do you know what social class becomes the basis for Nazism. But that's a right, not a need to know shit right here and right now." Okay, I I forget. How fucking fuck? Yeah, this, this is when I, I blocked. I just couldn't take it anymore. I literally couldn't take it. He's literally saying because I'm homeless, I am a Nazi. L literally, L this video is not clickbait. Look, go it. it, it any anyone, it, it, anyone who watches this who who didn't see it before, I I I showed the screenshot earlier of of what he said before. Okay. And and look, he says you're a worthless dipshit who has no idea of Marxism, let alone Marxism, nor do you know what social class becomes the basis for Nazism. But that's all right. Nazis never need no to know shit as shown right here and right now. He's literally saying that the lumpen proletariat, which includes us homeless, which he's calling me a Nazi because of my class position and and you know there's so 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 many so many so much of this at once that really fucking fucks with me that fucked me that i just had to block him it was too much and another part of it is that you know i recently made a video and i and i would accept any criticism of this view they say the uh there's a labor aristocracy the the white workers the white privileged workers in the united states aren't part of the proletariat the global proletariat you know that that they don't they don't they're not really struggling they're just benefiting off of this imperialist 
you know, sis, uh, system and they live good lives and they're not really struggling that much. And I said, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm not one of those. All right. I'm just a homeless guy who, who who's fighting for change, you know, and, and is a Marxist Leninist and a writer and a propagandist. And, and I thought that was a solid view, but no, no. <laughs> Apparently, if, if you're a white person in America, you're a Nazi regardless to these people. I, 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 honestly, if you're, if you're a white worker, if you happen to be born in America, you're white. And, and I am not a descendant of the... My, you know, my, my, my great-grandfather who came to America 100 years ago but will be turning over in his grave. Because when they came here to Ellis Island, New York... They will consider like Mexicans are considered by the conservatives now. They were considered to be these lazy criminal Im immigrants who are coming over with all this crime. Okay, and, and and you know, we were more dark, you know, and we weren't considered white. The Italians and the Spanish that immigrated, we were not considered white. Okay, and but now now I am considered white. Now 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 they've. Italians and descendants of Italian Americans have uh, been been part of this whiteness, you know, o over time, and so I do benefit slightly, ever so slightly, from my class position not giving me much room to benefit from this white priv privilege. There is still instances where I can benefit from white privilege, even as a homeless person, I, and I accept that and, and understand that. Um, but, but I do believe that, you know, we can have revolutionary potential that regardless if you're in a white American, you can still have revolutionary potential. And, and, and some people were here that say, a, 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 and equate it with these patriotic socialists, which I do not support, you know, which I understand are nice balls. I, I don't support the United States. I don't support the, uh, uh, accept the current settler colonial state of the United States. I, I don't accept it. Okay. And I don't have any nationalism toward it. All right. But I, I do believe as a human being, as a homeless man, that me and, and any other worker or homeless person struggling c can have revolutionary potential. And, 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 it, and it's just crazy to me. Like, like, okay, if you're a white worker, then then you're not part of the proletariat you don't have revolutionary potential but now also if you're a white lumpen proletariat you're just you you're you're a nazi now and i'm just like i'm 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 really i'm really astounded uh you know it's it it it, it, it you know more than more than anything um i'm disappointed in the communist movement in the United States, um, I'm more I'm disappointed in people who call themselves communist, and you know, believe that a white homeless person does not matter, that the, that their voice does not matter, in the struggle that they have no revolutionary potential, you know, and, and I strive uh, to work against this view in, in my life in my life as embodiment of someone who's against this and proves this wrong so i'm working my best to do that every day and to be the best person i can be and you know jason andruhe told me um you know we want to support the global south you know i asked him well what attitude can we have towards the workers of the imperialist countries you know um he said we should support them you know progressive things but not put any hope in them not to place any hope in them um and the and the view is that a lot of people accept and i i admit it to him and admit here now that i'm beginning to accept as well that the revolution it's not until this affects the imperial united states and nato nations and cuts them off from from their global resource supply that uh people will really care about rebelling in the united states against their masters and i i'm struggling to 100 percent say this is my exact view 
because in the past I've reacted very much to this view and said, you know what? It's us that's holding the revolution back. We must believe that we can change, you know, and we can strive for, for educating the people and creating something here better, you know, but, uh, yeah, if anyone has any 